Hi everybody, it's Catherine from In The Pink Designs. Uh, my project today is for Father's Day, or, well it says Father's Day, but it could be for a teenager if it doesn't say Father's Day. Um, it's just a masculine um, box. Uh, I think this would be perfect for a keychain or gift cards or any sweets. The actual box measures seven by four and the base is three inches. Okay, so it's seven this way, four this way, and the diagonal on the bottom is three inches. So, yeah, three inches. So it's pretty tall, so there's a bunch of things that you can fit in. And I use some of the Early Espresso Faux Suede Ribbon. And it opens just like that. Now, I did this box out of um, cardstock and then put the DSP on because if I made it fully out of cardstock, it is 10 and a half by, it's eight and a half by 10 and a half. So you would need one sheet for every box. So I made it with one sheet of cardstock instead so you could save some of your DSP and just put it on. Alrighty, and this stamp here says to the man who does everything and it has little wrenches and hammers next to it and wishing you a happy Father's Day. And then on the bottom here it says hello handsome with a mustache. Alrighty, and this is the stamp set I used. He's all that, which is in the new catalog, along with the, what's the name of this one? All that dies, I have a couple of them out because I'm using them. And the tailor-made tags dies for the tag. Alrighty. So, what we need for this project is a sheet of Sahara sand that is 10 and a half by eight and a half, a scrap of Sahara sand to stamp the tag and the little oval on the bottom. We need a scrap of Cajun craze to do this part of the tag. Okay, we need two pieces of the He's the Man DSP that are six by three and three quarters. Now, actually, this is gonna be covered by the top. You could have gone six and three quarters, but I only wanted to, I wanted to use half of your DSP sheet because that's gonna be covered anyway. So I went down to six six inches long by three and three quarters wide. And then you need two sides of a different piece, two pieces of a different one that are three and three quarters by one and a quarter. All right, and that's for these top pieces here. All righty, so that's it for this. So I'm gonna do this a little bit differently this time. I'm going to put the DSP on the box before I put it together just because it bends so it's much easier to put it on there with glue and let it uh, mold itself when I bring the box together. All right so we're going to start on the ten and a half inch side and we're going to score at one and a half and eight and a half. Oh darn, eight and a half. Okay, and then we're going to turn it to the eight and a half inch side. Everything's moving. And we're going to score at four. Oh my goodness, everything's skipping today. And at eight. Okay, now we want to turn it 180 to the other side of the eight and a half inch side. And we're going to score only to the first score line at two and a half and six and a half. And that's it. Okay, and all those measurements will be on my blog that is linked below. All right, and now I'm going to fold and burnish all of the score lines that are, they go the full sheet, not these half ones. I'm just trying to fix a little bit where I went off the track. All right, now I'm just gonna fold and burnish. Oh, 
Okay, and this top one that is one and a half inches here, we're going to fold the opposite way. We're going to fold it back because that's this piece that folds back. Okay. And we're going to put it in the portrait. The skinniest rectangle is on the right hand side. And this is what we're going to do. I don't know if you can see the whole thing there. I'll put it this way for a second so that you can see it. Okay. All right. So we're going to start on the bottom right hand side. Okay. And we're going to go to the first score line, cut it to the first score line, and then wedge up a little bit. Okay. Then the first square we're going to keep just as it is, so we're going to cut it to the first score line, skip this one for now, and go to the next square and cut that straight. And this one in the middle, we're going to wedge a little bit off of each side, just so that when we put it together, it's not poking out. third one we're going to leave straight and this last one we're going to wedge a little bit off of each side. Okay, that's what we did to the bottom. Now we're going to turn it 180 and we're going to go over to the left and all we're going to do is take off this lower rectangle here to the first score line and then wedge up into the skinny rectangle. All right, and this is what your cardstock should look like after you're done scoring it and cutting it. Okay, so we're gonna put it back in the portrait mode and what we're gonna do first is we're gonna put our two pieces of DSP that are the bit the long ones that are six by three and three quarter and we're going to put them towards the bottom and we're going to leave about an eighth of an inch on these three sides okay don't worry about the top because that's going to be covered over all right and i'm going to get my liquid glue all Okay, now we need some tear and tape, and we're going to put it on the skinny rectangle close to the score line. I'm going to take my take your pick tool to get the backing off, and I'm going to flip it over. And you're only going to be able to flip over the side with the tape on it. And then, oopsie, nope. <laughs> First, before we attach the tape, we want to glue down our top. All right, so I'm going to put glue up here. You could do this with tear and tape too, but I'm going to do it with liquid glue because I can get all the spots. All right, and then just fold it down. And you can put your other DSP on now if you want to. Okay, now we're going to flip it over. We're going to flip the part with the tape. And then we're going to flip the other side to meet it. And give that a good push. Okay, now we want to gently slip our fingers in here. And we really want to just flex this gently so that we don't crease it too much when we're getting the box in shape. So I'm just going to kind of warm it up a little bit. All right. And then the bottom, where is my seam? It's over here. So this is going to be our front. So we're going to put the side ones in and I'm going to put a little bit of glue on each one. Okay, so we put the ones that have the wedges out of them first. 
just gonna stick them down. Okay. Alright. Those are, they're kind of stuck. Not quite, but they're kind of stuck. Alright, and where did I say my front? The seam is... Where's my seam? Seam is right here. So this is going to be our front. So we're going to put the back down and then the front. All right. So I'm going to put glue on the back first. And you're, it's really kind of like a game of just trying to keep it in the square shape at the bottom. And then the top piece here. I'm just going to keep squeezing and holding until I feel like it's secure. Alright, I'm going to push this down. I should put the top on so I don't stick myself. Alright, we're a little bit off still, so I'm just going to push it a little bit. Okay, and then as you see, we still had some pieces sticking off, so all I'm going to do is just trim them. And we're good on that side. And that is your basic box. Okay. All right, now we get our other two pieces of DSP that are three and three quarter by one and three quarter, and we're going to put them on the top parts. Okay. Now, if this is a pretty sturdy box because it's all around card stock. Alrighty? If you don't want to have to fight with it at the bottom, you can do this all with DSP, but it's going to take most of your 12 by 12 sheet. Okay? It's not going to be even. You won't get two of them out of one sheet. Alright. So let's just let that over here to dry for a minute, and let's do some stamping. So all we need is Early Espresso ink, and let's do our Cajun Craze first. And we're going to use this one here, To the Man Who Does Everything. And we're going to shoot for the middle on this scrap. Great. And then this is the die from All That Dies. And I'm just going to put it on there, and I'll tape it, and I'll cut that out in a minute. Okay, so now we need the Wishing You a Happy Father's Day. And I'm just going to put this towards the bottom so that I can cut the entire tag out. Excellent. Okay. Now this tag is pretty snug at the bottom. It just fits the Father's Day. If you don't like how it's right up to the edge, you can do another piece that's a little longer and attach it. But I'm, not, I'm fine with that. All right, so then I'm going to take this. Now, the actual die is going to cover up part of the F and the Y, but it's going to come out like this because you have the dots, so it covers that. All right, so just make them kind of equal. And just a little space underneath. And then I'm just going to tape it down. And I'm going to cut that out. But before I do that, I need the little Hello Handsome. So I put away my ink. I'm going to use that. And then I'm going to use the oval die from All That Dies. Is that right? 
Yep, all that dice. And this is going to go right there. And I'm just going to take that. Let me take this too. Alright, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, here is all of my pieces now. So all we're going to do with the Cajun Craze is we're just going to pop that up on the top of the tag. I'm just going to center it as best I can. Okay. All right, then let's bring our box back in. And I'm going to get my hole punch. Now, this is a pretty small one. This is a 1 8 inch. You could use also a quarter inch, which would be probably easier. But since it's three, it's actually four thicknesses, two cardstock and two DSP. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press it and that will make marks on both sides right in the same spot. So I'm going to open it. I guess this will really close by itself if you wanted to not put anything on it. Pop that one. Turn it over. And pop that. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. took sixteen inches of faux fur faux suede trim in the ex early espresso color. And I'm gonna put whatever it is I want. I'm going to do do them actually in this because the gift I'm giving will probably match with this sports theme better. But this is expired, not expired, <laughs> retired, at, well, retiring. And the last chance this stamp set is gone. So you can only get the dice and the DSP at this point. All right. So this is just as good for Father's Day. All right, so I'm just gonna put these through. And then I'm just going to tie it once. And then I'm gonna slip my tag on. And then I'm gonna tie a bow. Now, if you don't wanna to have to go through this, you can put a clip, one of those bulldog clips or binder clips, and then just tie this onto that. And then they can open it easier too. But I kinda of like to tie it in a bow. Okay, and then the Hello Handsome is going to go on this side right there with dimensionals. And there you go. That is my project for today. My masculine twisted bag. Alrighty, if you have any questions, my email is below my shop to buy any Stampin' Up! products through me is linked below also and the link to my blog. All right, have a good day and I will see you next time. Bye!